Hey guys, I'm back with another PvP tips video and it is finally time for tips on how to double gun. This has been requested so much and even though it's not something I normally do, I wanted to create the most effective and thorough guide on how to double gun in Sea of Thieves. So I hope this helps you out. So in Sea of Thieves, double gunning means that you are using two guns rather than a sword and a gun. Typically this involves using the sniper and the pistol or the sniper and the blunderbuss. So to get started, just make sure you have two guns of your choice equipped and ready to go. Now this next step is very important. If you want to effectively double gun in Sea of Thieves, you're going to want to run to your nearest clothing chest and make sure your character is shirtless. And bonus points, if you have any arena cosmetics, you're going to want to make sure to have those equipped. And after that, you probably should have something glowing. And a very good choice is the Athena eye patch. This way, everyone who sees you knows that you are not to be messed with. And then you're definitely going to want to do an edgy emote and make sure you take a screenshot. Next, you're going to want to go to YouTube.com and you're going to want to take that screenshot and make it into your profile picture. That way, every comment you make, people know that you double gun and they should not mess with you because you will beat them 100% of the time. So this next part is probably the most difficult thing about learning to double gun and a lot of people struggle with it. So what you're going to want to do is try and find the nearest sword video and try and make them feel bad for wanting to use the sword. Make sure they know that they're just spamming without any strategy and that you're better than them. And if possible, try and get them to uninstall their game. Getting the timing right on these key presses can be pretty difficult, so you want to make sure to practice this. So in PvP, what you want to make sure to do is miss 90% of your shots. And while you're reloading, if someone comes at you with the sword, try to stand almost perfectly still. And once they end up chopping you up and you die, the most important thing to remember if you can is to spam rolls on deck laughing. That way they know how bad they are. Lastly, if you've mastered all of that, something more advanced you can try is to actually send hate mail if someone kills you with a sword. Just make sure it's as salty as possible and either send a bunch of slash marks in the message to make sure they know that they're a spammer or just spam the phrase M1, M1, M1 over and over again. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure they know that they're pathetic for killing you with a sword in a pirate game. If you can manage to get this down, then you are well on your way to becoming one of the best double gunners in Sea of Thieves. Okay, that's it for me today. And if you couldn't tell, this is definitely an April Fool's video. Not all of my guides are like this. If this is your first time watching one, I promise I have plenty of useful information in my other videos. Anyway, I give away codes now starting every Wednesday for in-game items on my stream, and occasionally I have Twitch drops at twitch.tv slash blurbs. So if you have any other questions or you want to come participate in that, please feel free to stop by. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.